When his brother Esau was tired and starving, Jacob told him, I'll only give you some food if you give me your inheritance. When his father was blind and dying, Jacob pretended to be Esau so that his father would give him Esau's blessing and inheritance. Jacob used other people's weakness against them to get what he wanted. He was not a very good guy. One day, after his father died, Jacob found out that his brother was planning to kill him. So, he ran away into the wilderness. He was all alone, running for his life because of the mess he created. He laid down to sleep that night using a rock as a pillow. This is really uncomfortable. Then, Jacob had a dream. In it, he saw a stairway leading up to heaven, with God seated at the top of it. Angels were going up and down the stairs, and God promised that he would be with Jacob. Have you ever been to a live show at a theater? When you arrive, a curtain covers the stage. From your seat, it looks like nothing is happening. You're just sitting and waiting for the show to start. But what you don't see is that behind the curtain, there's usually absolute chaos. Stage managers are trying to track down actors, makeup artists are doing last minute touch-ups, technicians are checking microphones, actors are practicing their lines. Lots of people are rushing around, fast at work to make something amazing happen. But from your seat, it feels like nothing's happening at all. To Jacob, it probably didn't seem like God was doing much. But in Jacob's dream, God pulled back the curtain so that Jacob could see that God was working. Even in all of Jacob's failure and chaos, God was working behind the scenes. Sometimes it can feel like God isn't doing much. He might feel far away, he might not be answering your prayers the way you'd expect him to, but remember that God is always at work behind the scenes. He works through people and in people and even in chaotic circumstances to do amazing things.